this is a really really stressful time for you guys um with the government's announcements that you've got to do more mocks um three mocks one for christmas one spring term one summer term um so that teachers have evidence just in case we go back to center assess grades if exams cancelled in 2022 this is doing nothing but ramping up the stress on you because these mocks the ones that might be used um for your grades are what we're going to call high stakes assessments there is a lot riding on them and high stakes assessments are high pressure assessments so what this video is today is a load of low stakes low stress low effort ways to revise that are going to have a lot of impact in your exams and that's like amazing So when we are thinking about a low stakes assessment, there are a few things we need to take into account. Number one, it has to be really easy for you to do and really easy for you to set up. So it is not going on the internet and printing out loads and loads of papers. That is not what we are talking about here. Two, it has to basically be a secret mm. now it's not kind of like oh i'm not telling you I'm, I'm doing this but the results are not going to get repeated reported to your teacher so it doesn't matter if you do it horrifically wrong and number three is that you have to be able to repeat it again and again and again and again because then you can see improvement then you can see that you're getting better which is good um so there are several different ways that you can do this now one of them is going to be what we call retrieval questions so these are just lots of really short questions that you do over and over again it's about getting the facts into your head and making them stick there in a way that maybe doing longer essays won't actually do. So for something like history, it could just be doing loads and loads of dates. For something like science, it could be the quickfire questions that are in the free revision guide you can get when you sign up to my mailing list. These are all completely free. Another way that you could do this is by doing multiple choice questions. Now, these are really, really low stress because it gives you the answer. You've just got to work out which of the answers is correct. So if you are completely guessing as to what the answer is, well, it's not as if you've got to write something down. You don't have to think of something, write it down. You don't have to leave it blank. You can just pick one and you might get it right. You might get it wrong. But the point of doing multiple choice questions where you get told what the answer is at the end is that then you can go look at it and go oh I didn't know that now I do and then the really good thing is you can do it again now you might want to do it again straight away or you might want to do it again like a week later and then you can go oh no I didn't know this question at all last time I completely guessed it I completely blagged it I know what the answer is now and you can see an improvement. You can feel the improvement. But the point is, because only you know what the results are, if you get 20% on a set of multiple choice questions, well, that's okay. Because it's not as if your teacher is going to know that you got 20% or anyone's going to know, your friends are going to be um, sitting there laughing at you because nobody knows that you got this and then next time you can just go and do it again a third way which is a really really low pressure way of revising is using worked examples now i've got loads of these for maths and for science and these are the youtube videos sit there watch a couple of examples and make notes and then watch the question come up watch your question get read out and pause the video and then try and work it out for yourself. If you get stuck halfway through a really, really long equation, play the video again and check what it says in the video matches up with what you've written down. And if it doesn't, then stop. But you're testing yourself as you're going along and you've got someone helping you as you're going along. And then you can work it out at exactly the same time the video is working out, pause it, do the next step, play it, check your answer, pause it, do the next step, play it, check your answer. So it's basically like having someone there working through the questions with you. 
a really, really low stakes, low pressure way of revising. There are so many different ways that you can revise that are kind of like really, really chilled, really, really easy. So like making mind maps, but covering up key facts with tiny little post-it notes and then lifting them up, kind of like a lift the flap for dates of who did what when in GTSE history. You do not have to make all of your revision really, really hard, really, really high stakes, really, really exam papers that you get handed into your teacher and get marked and you get feedback on. That's great, but that's not the type of revision that we're talking about here. So short retrieval questions, multiple choice questions and worked examples in videos. Three, really, really easy for you to access, really low stakes, low pressure revision methods. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>